Good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of Hexbreaker, where we'll be continuing our playthrough of the Circle and Dun storyline for Arkham Horror the Card Game. Tonight, our intrepid investigators, Jenny and Patrice, are going to be facing Jenny's Choice, which is a fan-created scenario um, hosted on ArkhamCentral.com for uh, anyone to uh, download and play. The story so far is that lately, the, Jenny and Patrice have been investigating witch activity in the city of Arkham as this malevolent evil um, slowly spreads throughout the city, accompanied by this strange mist that seems to be omnipresent. Most recently, they um, they identified a, um, I guess, a nexus for that evil in um, in a in Hangman's Hill, which is the site where a lot of uh, executions happened hundreds of years ago. But they were driven away by just the uh, sheer magnitude of um, spectral activity that was at Hangman's Hill. Also, um, also uh, tied up in this is the, Gre the cult of the Green Man, which is what initially, in a way, is what initially drew Jenny and Patrice together um, several months ago on one November night. Jenny was in the woods outside of Arkham, uh, looking for, you know, looking for signs of the Green Man cult, and she and Patrice, after having accidentally run into each other, had dealt with several um, goat spawn, which were related to the cult of the Green Man. Um, their investigations took them to a uh, to a coastal town, which um, in which the cult of the Green Man began a uh, a festival marking the Yuletide season, and they barely escape with their lives, and and now they've identified another um, another place where the uh, where the cult of the Green Man will reveal itself. It is as an old amphitheater um, outside of. An old amphitheater in the woods once again outside of Arkham, and they believe um, that this is their this is their chance to find Izzy and put an end to this. While they've been also in the past several months, while they've been uh, gathering all this information, they have been spending a lot of time at the Silver Twilight Lodge, as the two of them are now members of this predominantly gentlemen's club. There, they've um, they've gotten to know one Diana Stanley, who is a um, is like a small business owner, but has um, also been inducted into the Silver Twilight Lodge alongside, uh, not alongside the two of them, but before the two of them. And a few things that Miss Stanley has uh, has has told them has started to um, is started to ring true to them. They uh, the three of them are starting to grow suspicious of President Carl Sanford's motives. Um, it seems that Mr. Sanford is less keen on defeating this evil and fixing the problem than Jenny and Patrice and Diana would expect. Plus, Diana has um, hinted at some uh, darker things that the Silver Twilight Lodge has gotten into. So as a bit of background, they've, um, they've made sure to uh, strike out on their own on this, uh, on this January evening as they go look for the Green Man cult. Okay, so... Changes to the decks. Jenny's deck has not changed since the um, last scenario, because this this scenario is gonna as a stand as a uh, side story is gonna cost her two experience for her to play. So she's set. For Patrice, she has two spare, so I use it to include a second copy of um, level two blinding light in, into her deck. Uh, Patrice was having trouble, especially last scenario, with running out of shriveling charges at the wrong time. So Blinding Light will give her an extra option for dealing some damage and evading enemies, two things that she seemed to be doing a lot of um, last scenario. So I will shuffle that in. So we're going to be playing uh, We're going to be playing Jenny's Choice. Um, one thing you may or may not notice is I have... Uh, I've chosen the hard expert side for the token bag, and the reason for this is that we, our particular bag doesn't have any elder things in it, and the elder thing is the nastiest token um, in the token bag. So since we're not going to be getting the whole experience of the whole um, intended bag when playing this in standalone, I'm going to switch it over to, to a hard and expert um, just for the token effects. We'll be as as with any side story, we're gonna be we're gonna be using our chaos bag that we've built up over the course of our campaign. Look at all these wonderful tablets and cultists and skulls. Yeah, we've got lots of evil bearing down on us. <clears throat> okay, so the background of Jenny's choice is that we have um, 
we've tracked them to we've tracked the call to the green man to an old amphitheater out in the um to an old amphitheater and cathedral um in the woods outside of arkham and what do we need to do agenda one remnants you have tracked down the last known whereabouts of isabel to an isolated temple devoted to the green man you had thought the cult destroyed but it appears an escaped priestess of the cult has brought your sister here but to what end izzy's fate is in your hands okay so high stakes act one gaining entrance the woods surrounding the cathedral must first be explored for signs of ambush though dwindling there's no telling how many members of the green man cult are left at the very least you think you should acquaint yourself with the dangers present now before putting Izzy at further risk. Time is of the essence. Okay, so we need to get to the cathedral entrance and spend four clues to advance. So this is it. We uh, we believe we found where they've taken Izzy, and we're going to we're gonna we're gonna sa we're gonna save Izzy one way or another. Well, uh, hopefully it's the the way that involves saving her and not you know, any death or destruction. All right, so um, now that we've gone over the decks and we have um, set up, we'll draw opening hands. Okay, let's get started. Uh, before I do, I uh, took another look at the setup instructions and I found that some of the locations that I had out there weren't supposed to be out there. So we only have three locations to work with here. One of them is the cathedral entrance and we need to get four clues and head to the cathedral entrance to spend them. All right, so. Let's start with Jenny here. We are looking for assets as usual. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a weapon. That's nice to see. Okay, so we have a pretty we have some we have a pretty good asset mix here. Enchanted blade. So we are ready to fight and boost skill checks. I would have liked to see an Alola Santiago or a fingerprint kit, but that's okay. So I think thanks to this, I'll mulligan away the unexpected courage. And we have another we have another weapon for when the time comes. Okay, so I think Jenny's turn is just going to be Enchanted Blade, Suggestion, High Roller. Keep it simple. Oh, there we go. And now Patrice. Patrice also likes um, assets and setups, especially ones that give extra resources. We did we managed to draw none of those, but we did draw a Shriveling. That's nice. We are not going to need the Blinding Light on turn one. Um, probably not going to need any of these on turn one. So let's just mulligan them all. Let's see what we get. Ah, back into the hand, into the hand, please. There we go. Okay, we draw our other blinding light. Oh, Holy Rosary and David Renfeld. That's nice, but I don't think we're gonna be able to afford it all. Nope. We only have five resources, so we're not gonna be able to spend seven. Nope. We're gonna have to probably jump the Rosary in favor of Renfeld. That's a tough one because it's only four doomed. We only we only have four doomed to work with. And we don't know how many enemies are coming. So I think we'll keep the shriveling in the rosary. Okay, we'll do that. All right, so Jenny, um, as I mentioned, her turn is pretty simple. We're going to go just Enchanted Blade, Suggestion, High Roller. So that's eight resources. Okay, she is ready to go, ready to deal with baddies. Oh, I should probably also mention that we have, we have a starting location. <laughs> I was all ready to get going there. All right, we start at... The Hidden Grove. So I imagine Jenny walks in with her suggestion and her enchanted blade all ready to go. All right. There's no path through the forest that does not inspire dread. You remind yourself that Izzy is somewhere in these woods. So we have two clues, and it's three shroud. And we can resign. That's nice. Um, it's very considerate. And it says, this forest grove is so off the beaten path, you are beginning to worry you will not be able to find your way back. All right, so we have two clues here. All right, so that was Jenny's turn. So Patrice, hmm. I'm thinking we'll go Shriveling Holy Rosary, Investigate, and then we can pitch in Redfeld and Unexpected Courage to max out our ability to do that. Sounds good. All right, first action Shriveling. So both of them are ready to defend themselves. Let's do Holy Rosary. And the third action, we'll Investigate. We'll go at two, three, four, five versus three. That seems fine. Minus two, that's a success, so we get a clue. Okay, all in all, decent turns. If we run into baddies, they are not going to know what hit them. All right, so we, let's, uh, we go to the, we'll go to upkeep, and we'll draw cards and gain resources. Oh, Los Santiago, that is um, a nice sight. And we'll get a new hand for Patrice. 
Oh, there's the tower. It's unfortunate, and we are going to have a hard time affording Peter. Maybe I should have played Renfeld after all. All right, new turn. One doom out of four, and we'll see what we get. Half cocked. How does this work? Discard any number of cards from your hand, then lose resources equal to the cost of the highest resource card in your hand. Okay, so thanks to the tower, she's just going to have to lose all her resources. Yeah. I guess that's that. That's a really interesting card, actually. I like how um, you can discard cards. I mean, unless your most expensive card is a weakness, of course. You can just discard cards to uh, kind of avoid its effects or lessen its effects. I really like that card. That's neat. Okay, what do we got over here? Oh, we have a monster. Oh, well. Hello. It's like the goat spawn we were uh, dealing with back in the witching hour. We're coming full circle here. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to, I guess, deal with this goat spawn and keep looking for clues. So Patrice here, she's out of resources, so I don't think playing Peter is going to happen. She can't commit anything, so I think she's kind of in trouble right now. She can't, yeah, she can't commit anything. So the best thing she can probably do is attack the goat spawn with shriveling. She'll be two over. Yeah, it's probably, probably for the best. Okay, so we'll have Patrice go first. We'll shrivel the goat spawn and hope we don't miss. All right, so we're going to be f uh, five versus three. Uh, reveal another token. Okay, so success. All right, that is good. So we do two damage. Okay, we could try again, but I think Jenny's better able to fight it. Mm, I can go either way. Oh, she's got the high roller. Yeah, she's better able to fight it. So I think we'll have Patrice head to the entrance. And third action, or she can just take two resources for you know to get ready for next turn. I'm kind of fine with that actually. Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of this tower at some point, and she can't pitch in. Okay, so we'll go to Jenny. Uh, we'll start by defeating. We'll try to defeat the goat spawn. If we don't use a charge, we'll be at four versus three. If we use high roller, we'll then be at six versus three, and I kind of like that success. So we get our high roller resources back, we deal one damage to the goat spawn, which defeats it, but we all take a horror. Okay. Uh, or rather the Holy Rosary does. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, now we need to play Little Santiago as our second action, for sure. Third action, I think we'll investigate at four versus three. Yeah, that seems better than our, our alternatives. Yeah, let's do that. Four versus three. Or we can go down to the creek. Let Patrice handle this when, like... Hmm. Let's go down to the creek. Although if a monster comes up... Oh, she's got shriveling. She'll be okay. All right, let's go down to the creek. Dismal Creek. The life-giving waters of this forest appear to be greedy as well. The creek bank is littered with the remains of countless small animal corpses. Yuck. All right, so we have four clues and two shroud. Okay, that's lower than what we had before. And I also spotted a victory point there. I guess this is the clues we're looking for. And what do we got here? The location shroud value cannot be reduced. All right, so no flashlights in the Dismal Creek. The creek bed looks shallow enough, but the murky water flowing toward the cathedral gives off the pungent stench of decomposition. Okay. All right, so that was all our actions. We don't have any bad guys to deal with, so we will draw cards and get resources. Always nice to see one of those, and we'll get a new hand. Uh, hate to see you go, Peter. Oh, we've got another weakness, but we're going to be able to afford to play six cents. And we also have winging it. That'll be nice to throw into the discard pile. Okay. Can't use our last chance though because of the tower. Yeah, it's higher priority of six cents right now, I think. Alright, new turn. Two DM out of four. Let's see what we get. Oh, half cocked. Oh, she's gonna lose all her resources again. Oh goodness. Discard any number of cards from every number of cards from your hand, so let's discard the winging it because we can. Yeah. 
we lose all our resources again. That's awful. Yeah, nothing we can do about it either. Okay, what do we got here? Twist of fate. Reveal a random token. Minus one, so we take a damage. Or rather, little Santiago does. It's not so bad. Oh man, Patrice is getting wrecked by those treacheries, and there's nothing she can do. Yeah, she can't even take resources to play six cents. She's lost Peter, and, she, and, and she's going to lose two six senses. That's not good. That is actually that is not good. Um, we could take a resource and play winging it, but we can't commit anything to it because of the tower. We'd be at two versus two with winging it, which is kind of awful. I guess the best thing Patrice can do is just take resources to get out of the hole. That is not pretty. Yeah. Okay, over to Jenny. Let's see. She can buy a clue with Lola and start investigating. That seems good. Uh, or I can use High Roller. Right now we're at four versus two. High Roller put us. Meh. Let's just investigate. All right, so we'll be at four versus two. Failure. Uh, four versus two. Success. Okay. So we're kind of struggling here. Uh, let's go again. Success. Okay. And we'll buy a clue with Lola Santiago. There we go. Okay, so we've got our four clues that we need, but we want to get this one. Okay, so I guess we don't really need this clue. And uh, we've already taken our three resources. All right, no baddies. So we'll just draw cards and get resources. Oh, Lone Wolf, that's good to see. And we lose our six senses. Yeah, there wasn't much we could do there. Get a new hand. Oh, Redfeld, that'll help with the resource problem. Although it might be... Oh, we're about to be in the Witching Hour, so now's the perfect time to play him. Okay, new turn. We go to three Doom out of four, and we'll draw encounter cards. Ooh, another goat spawn. Yuck. Fortunately, we have the Shriveling to deal with him. Yeah, we're only going to be at five versus three. Can't commit. What do we got here? Discordant Piping. Okay. And those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. If Discording Pipe is already in play, it gains Surge and discard this card. Otherwise, attach it to the current actor agenda. If you fail a skill test while at a resonant location, you must do some bad stuff. All right, so we're going to be on the lookout for resonant locations. Are there any? Entrance, woods. Okay, so none yet. So this isn't going to do anything to us yet. I'll put it over here since that's going to advance soon. Okay, so we have a monster. Can blast it. Um, Jenny's got two resources. She could just grab a clue with Lola Santiago, move to the entrance. Doesn't seem too bad. Or she can move to go help uh, Patrice. It's probably even better because Patrice is kind of hurting right now. All right. So I think we'll go first action investigate. Failure. Second action by well non-action by a clue. Or rather we can go. Yeah. Ugh. Second action investigate again. Four versus two. Minus two. Okay, so that's a success. Alright. We can go help or we can play our lone wolf. Let's go help. I wanted to play the lone wolf this turn. That's why I didn't just buy a clue. Silly me. Okay, so over here. Uh, we're going to have to use two shriveling charges to get rid of this guy. Or we can just evade this guy. We're not even very good at that either. Nope. All right, so I guess we go shrivel, shrivel, Renfeld. Five versus three on the shrivel. Let's go for it. Uh, reveal another token. Super success. So that's good. That means we'll get everything but this winging it back. Okay, that means our six senses are going to go back to the deck. That's a good place for them to be. Okay, and that goes in the discard pile, and we get two damage. Yeah, I don't. I didn't want to do another action shrivel again. Yeah, maybe I should have just bought a clue. All right, shrivel again. Five versus three. This one's important, so we'll put in 
the unexpected courage. Seven versus three, success. All right, so he's done, and we both take a horror. Grab the Lola does. Okay, third action, play David Renfeld. And since it's the witching hour, I'll immediately use him. All right, not bad. Well, kind of bad, could have been a lot better. Okay, so that is the end of all our actions, and we'll draw cards and get resources. Intel report, always handy to see. Okay, and new, t new hand. Open gate, that's nice. Drawn to the flame. Okay, so we might get a chance to play some of these this turn. All right, new turn. Now we go to four doom. This is gonna go away, and let's see what happens. Atonal chords. A piping begins to stir the air, and a haunting and discordant melody echoes through the halls of the cathedral. You must hurry. If Izzy is somehow involved, whatever the Green Man cult is gathered to do, it is beginning. Searching counter deck for a discordant pipe, piping, and attach it to the current act. Okay, there it is. Okay, we've seen this before. Look out for resonant locations. Alright, if there was already one, stuff would have happened. Okay. So what do we got here? The growing dissonance. The piping has become a growing staccato of notes, and you hear other incongruent flourishes coming from down the hallway of the cathedral. The echoes of the music catch in each other and pitch catch in each other and pitch up and down your spine, making your ears hum. A crescendo is building. So we have eight doom before really bad things happen. Let's draw on counter cards. Okay, we have a wizard of the order. Let's slam right into him by putting him there and we've got a cursed luck and that's probably not worth um canceling we can deal with it we've got like high roller after all to deal with the luck all right so the end of the mythos phase he gets a doom so what do we want to do we need to move in and start um we need to move in and advance so i think we're gonna have jenny move first because she has enough clues to advance on her own she can then attack the wizard of the order She'd be at five, four versus four. She'd be two over with that. And I guess we'll deal with it. Okay, here we go. Have Jenny go first. She won't trigger her. Well, we could trigger her lone wolf anyway. All right, move in. Okay, we're gonna engage this guy. And we end up at the cathedral entrance. Everything is quiet. And says, if the woods around you are intently listening, waiting for you to make one final mistake. You hear a disharmonious piping from further within. Could Isabel really be inside? All right, there's the piping. Okay, now we'll uh, now we'll advance. Okay, so let's see what happens here. So this is going to go away. Touch the current act. All right, gaining entrance. Oh, whoops, we advance. So what happens here? No time to waste. The large stone door to the cathedral grinds open, light pouring in for seemingly the first time in a decade. A distant piping grows louder, and you see a man in a green cloak disappear around the corner. He appears to be playing a set of bone pipes in disharmony with the clear music. A disharmony with the clear music coming from deeper within the cathedral. Maybe he can tell you what is happening, or maybe you can disrupt whatever it is. You wonder if you should think harder to avoid acting recklessly, but every moment spent in thought is a moment Izzy may not have. Okay, so we're gonna set some we're gonna set some locations into play, and I'll set this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've gotten things set up for Act 2 here. We have revealed, well not revealed, but we've set up the rest of the cathedral here. We have a wine cellar, we have an inner chamber, an organ room, and an amphitheater. We also have a balcony um, all by itself up there. Um, also, we've spawned three Heralds of the Green Man, Conductor of Rites and Rituals. So it looks like they're aloof and they're not going to attack us, but we can parley with them. Perform a retest, a resource test at base t at uh, at two. He um, this is described as being um, your base skill value is equal to half the number of resources in your resource pool rounded down, kind of like money talks. The card money talks from Circle Undone. Okay, and if you succeed, remember that you have bribed a herald of the Green Man group limit once per game per source. So we can bribe these guys. And yep, and we've shuffled the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. All right, so let's see what we need to do here. A plan unfolds. You need to decide quickly. 
Suss out where they've hidden Isabel and go in guns blazing, or discover what unnatural ritual is about to be performed. There's no more time to think. You must act now. Although we also saw in the back of the act, you wonder if you should think harder to avoid acting recklessly, but every moment is spent in thought as a moment Izzy may not have. So it says here, investigators at the amphitheater may spend any number of clues to advance. Or, if it hits Agenda 4, we advance. So that's interesting. I like this. We have to kind of gamble here. How many clues do we think we can get um, before the clock runs out? Kind of a push your luck here. All right, so um, she's taken one move, and we've advanced. We have this guy in our face, so we definitely have to deal with him. Okay, so if we use our Enchanted Blade, we're currently at 5 versus 4. 4 versus 4, thanks to Cursed Luck. Okay, so we'll put in High Roller. Okay, so now we're 2 over. Okay, I'm feeling pretty decent about my odds here. Uh, minus one, so we succeed by one, so this guy goes away, and then it says, after this test is resolved, each readied cultist enemy moves one location away from you. That's funky. All right, so he's done, and so I got these guys all move one away. Okay, ah. Okay, they move away from her, so they're harder to catch. Okay, that was action two. Okay, we can't... Oh, and we get our high roller clues back. All right, let's um, use Lola Santiago to get a clue. And it sounds like we're going to need to get, out lots of re get lots of resources this game. So let's get started with a lone wolf. Yeah, we'll just put it over here. All right, so that is all our actions. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need a lot of resources to bribe these guys. So lone wolf will help with that. Okay, so this... Shroud 3 clue is not all that important right now. But I'm thinking about gates. Where should we put gates? Probably a gate up at the balcony would be nice. So that way we can get back and forth to it later. That seems like a good plan. Maybe she can go one, two, put a gate down, draw into the flame, and then she'll have a resource left for Word of Protection. That seems good. Oh, David Renfeld lost his should have lost his doom when we advanced the agenda. But now he'll get it back as we take a resource. Okay, that seems good. So we'll go one, two, see what's up with the balcony. A small stairwell leads to a viewing balcony above. The balustrade is held together by a growth of tangled vines. Perhaps a bird's eye view of the area below will offer some clues as to Izzy's whereabouts. Ah, very intelligent, Patrice. Very clever. All right. Oh, it worked. Um, there are two clues here. And you can test... Okay, and if you test... Um... Agility at three, if you succeed, move to the amphitheater below. <laughs> so you could jump down to the amphitheater. Okay, that's where we are. <laughs> that's funny. A small balcony. There's not much here except a lovely view of the amphitheater below. Okay. So do we have, we may have need to, like if we're down here, you know, we may have need to, you know, get around and get to the amphitheater. So let's do what I was thinking, and we'll put down the open gate. Okay, so there's now a gate here that we can use later. Okay, that was two actions. All right. Third action, let's do the Drawn to the Flame before it goes away. Okay, play Drawn to the Flame, draw an encounter card. It's a baddie. Okay, so we can't ward of protection it. All right, and then we'll get the two clues for sure. All right, so the Alkalite goes to any empty location. We'll just put him right here since we're probably going to have Jenny head that way and take him down. Okay, so that is Patrice's turn. So now we do baddies. Um, they don't move around. So we'll just do... He's a cultist, right? Yes. So we'll do cards and resources. Ooh. How far is the farthest? Uh, this one's the these two are the only ones that are two away. So we're we're going to have the thing come from the amphitheater or the organ room. Organ room's creepier. We'll have it come from there. Okay, took two resources. Okay, over to Patrice. We get a new hand. Okay, can't put in any of the. Ooh, another open gate. Hmm, not sure where it's going to go. Probably down here. It seems like a good place for it. Or I can just have her move. Yeah, and then put an open gate like right there. There, there's a good spot. Okay, so new turn. 
2 doom out of 8, and we'll get encounter cards. Let's see what kind of awfulness we get. Mysterious chanting. Put 2 doom on the nearest cultist enemy. So that'll be 1, 2. That'll be this guy. All right, so Jenny has a good reason to take him down. All right. Okay. And another discordant piping. Okay, so resonant locations are going to be a problem. Um, let's put it here, because... I don't know how many clues we're going to need. We're just going to have to guess. All right. Are any of these places resonant yet? Uh, not that I can tell. Okay. So, Jenny's going to head down here and take it on this Acolyte because he's providing a lot of doom. Uh, as soon as the action window opens, we're going to use Renfeld to get a resource. Okay. This means Patrice can play the tower. Get it down. All right. Clues are good. So we'll have Jenny go first. Trigger Lone Wolf. First action, take a clue. Yeah, it seems good. Second action, move here. Third action, attack him. That seems like a good plan. Okay, so we'll um, investigate at four versus two. Yeah, I'll save the high roller for um, attacking this guy. Okay, so investigate at four versus two. Uh, minus two, so that's good. We get a clue. Okay, um, maybe I should have used this because I'm about to use two resources on Little Santiago. Oh, oh well. Okay, so second action, move and engage this guy. Okay, what do we got here? Wine cellar. A fairly unexceptional wine cellar appears to be at the end of the steps below. No matter the religion, there's always alcohol involved. Just why is that anyway? Watch out, it's dark. Okay, so there are two clues here. Shroud 4, that's a lot. But after you successfully investigate this location, you can gain a resource. Remember that you have tasted the green man's fermented fruits. Ah, so we can have a drink. As excellent as you would expect for the green man himself. This should take the edge off. Now, where is Izzy? <laughs> All right, so now we're going to attack this guy. So if we use... So if we go normally, we're at 4 versus 3. Not where I want to be. I think I'll just evade him this turn. That way I can unlock High Roller next turn. All right, so I'll use Suggestion to evade at 6 versus 2. I like this. Uh, minus 2. Okay, so we succeed by 2, and he's evaded. Okay. Okay, I kind of like that plan. All right, so this thing's going to come after us. And we'll, but we'll probably we can use one of our suggestion charges to block the attack. Okay, and then we'll be able to wipe things out next turn. So maybe Patrice needs to come down and help. One, two. Put a gate down. Play the tower. Uh, I could play the tower, but then walk down, but I won't be able to do any tests. Okay, so I'll probably go 1-2, put a gate down, and then do something with my third action. Take a resource, I guess. Yeah, seems fine. Okay. Um, I could shrivel that guy, but I don't really, it's only one hit point. I could also go do that. Nah, her ability to take tests isn't that great right now. Well, let's think about it. She can go play the tower. Well, then she could take the test. She'd be at four versus three. Eh, not the best. All right, so we're going to go... Hmm. Maybe I can try this. Oh, yeah. So we're going to play the... We'll play the tower for sure. No, I want to use that open gate, though. Okay, let's just go with it. One, two. Okay, and then we'll play um, we'll play open gate. Okay, so now those two are connected. Last action. Take a resource. Yeah, not sexy, but it'll get things done. All right, so enemy phase. This thing hunts, engages Jenny, and we'll have... 
we'll use a charge of suggestion to uh, block the attack. All right, cards and resources. Okay, good stuff. And over here, we get a new turn. We get a new hand. Luckies, and recall the future. Things that I can't commit, so I don't need to play the tower this turn. Okay, new turn. Three gem out of eight. Is this a harmonious location? It is a resonant location. Oh, so we need to not fail tests here. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and this guy readies, and we'll have him engage Jenny. So we need to not fail tests while here at the wine cellar. Okay. All right, uh, we've done the, the doom, so now we do the bad stuff. Uh, another discordant piping. If it's already in play, it gains surge and discard this card, okay? Mysterious chanting. Okay, so we are gonna put two doom on this, this cultist that is right next to us. Yuck. We're definitely getting rid of that cultist. Ooh, half cocked. So we stand to lose three resources. Can't cancel it. Hmm. Okay, maybe I can stand to lose the Derringer. Because then I'll lose two resources, go down to two. Then if Patrice leaves the location, then Lone Wolf will trigger, and then we'd get High Roller back. Okay, this I can live with. Uh, or I should keep the Derringer because I'm going to run out of shots. I'm going to need the, the ammo. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Love that. I like that card, though. I like how the choice it gave me. Okay, so we're going to have Patrice go first. First action, play Recall the Future. Okay, let's help Jenny out here. Let's shrivel the thing that follows. So right now she is at, oh, get a resource. So right now she is at six versus three. We'll name minus four with Recall the Future. Uh, skull, okay. Each rated cultist is gonna move one location away from you. Ooh, that's gonna be weird. All right, so we take a horror. Thanks to drawing a spooky token. Uh, we shrivel the thing that follows. And then each rated cultist is gonna move away so he's going to go over, we'll put him over here, I think. Or that's spookier, so we'll have him go there. So we got to go chase this guy down. How much doom is on him now? It's like five doom on him. So we're in the witching hour if we don't take him down. So that was action one. All right. Do we go chase him? And then let Jenny investigate? Okay, it seems fine. Second action, go here. Let's see what's in the organ room. And we, or do we want to do something else? Can move in, shrivel. Oh, we're out of shriveling. Yeah, so we can't do that. Okay, so second action, let's move up here. Hmm. We could also maybe attack him and just play rely on two luckies to get us through. That sounds hilarious. I like it. Alright, so we'll move to the organ room. Engage this guy. At one time it looks as if this organ may have been used for regular mass services. You are loath to think how patient the green man must be to have seen entire religious sanctuaries be erected and fall into disrepair. His worshippers scheme into the far-flung future, the lives of two sisters mere blips in the vast ocean of time. Okay, so this is also resonant. Oh, it's worth two victory points. That's good. Okay, it says you're forced. Do not discover clues at this location when successfully investigating. Instead, you may spend your resources to discard discordant piping from play. Forced, when discordant piping is discarded, investigators in this location each gain a clue. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, but there are four clues here, and it's worth some victory points, so we're going to favor this location. Okay, so we need to not fail skill checks, because it's a resonant location. Alright, so this guy engages us. 
Okay, in third action, we will attack. We are at two versus three. We'll name, so at two versus three, we'll name the minus four with recall the future. Okay, I like it. Okay, we're at minus three. So we are at negative one versus three. So we'll just play two luckies and succeed. Yep, that that's that that's how it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, so we take this guy down, and we don't fail. That's important. <laughs> Fertrice is very lucky here. Okay. So what do we need to do here? We need to investigate. Shroud is four. How are we doing for that? Well, we get Lone Wolf. Okay, Shroud four is quite a bit. So let's probably gonna use the Intel report for this one. Yeah, that sounds good. Although I'm kind of curious about successfully investigating and tasting the green man's fermented fruits. Either way, additional resources are gonna help us. So we'll spend our first action playing Easy Mark to take two resources and draw a card. All right. If we investigate, we'd be at four. If we use the high roller, we'd be at six versus four, which I feel pretty good about. Okay, we'll do that. Go to eight versus four. I don't want to fail this. Success. Okay, so I get a, re I get a, I get this, and I gain a resource, and I remember that I've that I've had a drink. Okay. Third action. I don't necessarily need to clean the, clear this off. We can head in here and then buy a clue with uh, Lula Santiago. That seems like a really good idea. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Third action, head here. Spend two with Lula Santiago to buy a clue. Okay. Yep, it's investigating. That's how you discard, discord and piping. All right, so we have cleared out the doom problem and we're on our way towards getting lots of clues. Okay, so. Uh, no hunters to hunt, so we will draw cards and get resources. Okay, that's okay to see. She is going to provide some investigation. Okay, new hand. Whoops, okay, so... Ooh, premonition, very nice. And live and learns. Also events that... So we don't need to get rid of the tower this turn. <laughs> Funky. Alright, so now we're at four doom out of eight. And see what we got here. Twist of Fate. All right, so we just reveal a token and see what happens. Elder Sign. Nothing happens. Reveal a random token from the Chaos Bag. Yep. And a Curse Luck. Okay, so what do we need to do? We can buy a clue, but we can also, I think investigating is what we need to do. We need resources, though. All right. I think maybe we can investigate here with Patrice. Although failure is bad because of this. Discard the card in your hand with the lowest cost or take a direct horror or lose a resource. Well, let's do that. Play Premonition to guide our destiny here. Yeah. <laughs> Next token pulled is going to be a tentacle. Great. And then failing a test is bad. So what can we do? Maybe we can part. We can make parlay be the failure. Well, this is all in the action window, so we can decide who goes first here. Well, if we let Jenny go first, she's going to want to investigate, and that's going to end badly. So let's have Patrice go first and have it not end so badly. I mean, she's got live and learn, that'll help. Okay, so if she investigates, fails, discards something, she has to discard a live and learn, but then use the live and learn. Well, I guess she can lose a resource at this point, that won't be too bad. All right, let's go with it. Okay, first action, she tries to investigate. She draws the tentacle, okay. Yeah. Okay. Trigger. She 
fails at a skill check. So we're gonna lose a resource. Okay, then we'll play and we'll play live and learn because we just failed. Okay, so now we're at now we're investigating again at four versus two. I feel a lot better about this. Minus two. Oh, I should have named something. All right, so we succeed, but instead of success, instead of gaining resources, we spend two. Discard discordant piping from play, and we each gain a clue. That was the idea. Okay. All right, there we go. That was action one. We could investigate again. Yeah, but we need a discordant piping to uh, discard in order to get clues. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we second action move and see what we find. We can buy a clue with little Santiago. That'll be good. Okay, we'll buy the last clue. All right, let's head to the inner chamber. I don't know if I'm ready to face this amphitheater yet. It seems pretty scary. Although if I go here and then I eventually draw the next open gate, that would be the place to put it. These guys are aloof. Yeah, let's just do that. Second action, move into the amphitheater. The empty, amp the empty amphitheater ominously awaits a grand performance. Is that piping coming from behind the curtain? It's difficult to tell as the music, if it can be called that, is echoing throughout the chambers. Okay, so what do we got here? It is four clues. Monsters at this location gain alert. Okay, so there are four clues here. And it's worth a victory point. All right, so that was second action. We moved in. If death meant just leaving the stage long enough to change costume and come back as new character, would you slow down or speed up? Hmm. All right, so we have clues to get here. Uh, parlaying is probably not going to be a good idea because, yeah. We could try to investigate. Nah, I'll just take a resource. Yeah, seems fine. Although, let's see, let's, if we tried to parlay, we'd be at a base skill of zero. Yeah, there's no penalty for failure, and we can burn our live and learn when we eventually fail. Let's try that. Okay, so let's parlay with this guy. Okay, we'll try it. Zero versus two. Name the skull. I should have named minus one. All right, so we fail and play live and learn. So now we're two versus two. Now I'll name the uh, skull again. Hey, hello. Oh, nice. Okay, so we succeed. We succeed at bribing this guy, and uh, that's good. Remember that you have bribed a herald of the green man. Okay. And what happens here? Then each ready to call this enemy moves one location away. Okay, so they all go this way. Ah. I think they're all going to be staying together. But let's let them spread out. Let's let's do that. Let's just say they do. Do like that, maybe. Okay. So that was Patrice's turn. That worked out. So now Jenny. Jenny gets Lone Wolf. Okay, so we need to buy that last clue with Lola Santiago. Then move on and start doing, probably get that clue, or get lots of those clues. Yeah, that one seems more important. So we'll go up there. Okay, buy a clue with Lola. Okay, get the victory points. So first action, move. Okay, four clues, three shroud. Is it worth doing intel report? Maybe next turn. Okay, if we investigate with high roller, we're going to be at four, five, six, five versus three. Pretty decent odds. Let's do seven versus three by burning this Lola. Oh, ouch. That hurts. Okay. That was our second action. Third action. Uh, let's take a resource because next turn we'll have three resources and high roller be turned back on okay that tentacle really hurt all right hunters nothing to hunt 
So we go cards and resources. Okay, and new hand. Okay, new shriveling, that's good. Agatha Parker, also good. Not enough resources to afford all this though. Okay, what do we got here? New turn, now we're at five doom out of eight. Time's ticking. Another one. We're going to lose all our resources unless we cancel it. Yeah, I guess we can just cancel it. Okay. Take a, take a horror. And a goat spawn. Okay. So we have a baddie to hurt. Okay. So in order to play anything, I'm going to need two resources. So this guy to worry about. So let's get the shrivel uh, Agatha Parker or Shriveling. Let's go with the Shriveling so we can defend ourselves. Alright, so I hate to do this, but we're gonna put a second doom on Renfeld. Then we're gonna be at six out of eight, so we're gonna be looking for a way to get rid of Renfeld. We gain two resources though. Okay, first action. Uh, play this shriveling. Okay. Second action. We are at what, four, five, six? Shrivel the goat spawn? Yeah, let's help out. Alright, six versus three, name minus four with Recall the Future. Oh my goodness. Alright, so that's going to do two damage to Jenny. And it's going to retaliate. Yep, just one. Third action, shrivel again. Okay, another token. Success. Okay, so we. Oh, and she takes a horror. Good lord. Oh, that's our chance to get rid of Renfeld. Taking that horror. Okay. So we do two damage to this. Okay, so she had a tentacle and then a cultist. So she takes another horror. Yeah, this has been hurting. Alright, that's her turn. Jenny needs to get these clues and fight this guy. All right. First action, stab this guy. I'm going to be at four versus three if I don't use a charge. Seems fine. Let's go all in on this to get some resources back. All right, so we're going to be four, three versus three. Uh, four, five, six versus three. Bet three resources. We are betting the farm on this one. Nice. Okay, so we take this guy out, get six resources back draw a card, and we both take a horror. Oh, she's starting to feel horrid there. That's not good. Okay. All right, that was first action. Oh, and this is gone. That's good. Okay, now we need clues. Fortunately, we have tons of clues now. We have tons of resources now, so we can afford to buy them. Do I go for the fingerprint kit or do I go for the intel report right now? I think I do fingerprint kit because I'd be at three, four, five versus three. Yeah, let's just do that. Second action fingerprint kit. Okay. Third action investigate at five versus three. Minus two. Okay, we succeed and get two clues. How are we doing on clues, by the way? Let's count them all up. Patrice has four. Jenny has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, doing pretty good, but let's keep going before, because we don't know how many we're gonna need. It's a, it's a, it's a whew, chilling. We don't know how many clues we're actually gonna need. All right, so that was our last action. Can't afford to buy another one, so we'll, okay, truck cars and get resources. Ooh, it's back, and it's gonna be one, two, three over there. Let's say it came from the Dismal Creek. That's much uh, scarier. One, two, three, yeah. Get your resources. Okay, and then Patrice gets a new hand. Okay, not bad, she can fight something. But now she's really starting to feel the sting of having so few resources. I guess you can't use these. All right, new turn. We go to five doom out of eight. Oh, 
oh my goodness. It's like the whole cavalry's come in. All right, so we're just going to spend this turn fighting. Blinding Light will help. Okay, that's why I've got it. All right, so we're going to start with Patrice here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. All right, first action, play Blinding Light. Okay, so we're going to be at 6 versus 4. Can't boost it. Nope, not at all. 6 versus 4, just going to have to go for it. Name minus 3. Yeah. Okay, success. We deal 2 damage. And he's evaded. Okay. Second action. Let's shrivel. Uh, we need to take this guy out because he's going to heal. So we're at six, but we're at six versus three if we attack this guy. So let's attack that guy at six versus three, which is more reliable. Name minus four with recall the future. Skull. So we take a horror. Oh gosh, we are running low on horror here. And we deal two damage. Okay. Third action for efficiency, we'll shrivel the Relentless Dark Young at six versus four. Last shot of shriveling. Name minus four with Recall the Future. Minus four, hey! All right, so uh, we Recall the Future kicks in and we deal two more damage to the Relentless Dark Young. All right, so now we need Jenny to clean up. He has one hit point left, he has one hit point left. All right, what we don't have is a lot of room for error here. Okay. First action. We're attacking. Who's more important? Probably this guy, because he's going to heal. All right. So if we attack and we use High Roller, we're going to be at 5, 6 versus 4, unless we use a charge. Let's do 7 versus 4. That one's important. We need to get rid of him. Okay, success. He's gone. Goes in the victory display. Good. Okay, so the problem with attacking this guy and taking him down is he deals a horror to um he's gonna deal a horror to Patrice and that would be bad. So I think we need to drag him out and then take him down. So we're gonna take an AO to drag him out. Yeah, I don't want to leave those clues on the on the board. Oh, get these back. But we can buy a clue before heading out. Nothing we do is use suggestion here. Nah, we don't need to evade this guy. We could provoke to investigate. Get those two clues, then move out with our third action. Or we can evade him with our third action. Well, that seems fine. So if we evade him with our second action, investigate with our third action. Okay, that seems good. Then next turn we can like have Patrice leave, and uh, then we defeat this thing. Doesn't seem so bad. All right, second action I'll evade. So I'm going to be at six, seven versus two. Okay, uh, we succeed by a lot, so he is evaded. Third action will investigate. Now we're currently at five versus three. All right, we're just gonna have to go for it. Don't want to burn that intel report. Ouch. Okay, well, oh well. <laughs> if we burned the intel report, we would have been even more hosed. Okay. So that's our that's all our actions. So hunters are gonna hunt. Okay, here we go. Now we'll do cards and resources. Okay. Oh, that is a lifesaver. More weapons. All right, what do we got here? New turn. Wow. Things I can't afford. I may have to just go resource, resource, Peter, just to have the sanity soak. All right, new turn. We are at six doom out of eight. So where do we have to go? We have to get to the amphitheater to advance, is that correct? Okay. 
Twist of Fate. Uh-oh, this could be it. Guess we just hope we don't take two horror. Minus two. Take a damage. Whew. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? And another Acolyte. Ooh. So he goes to an empty location. Okay, what's empty? Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, and he also. Look at him. Oh, wait, he goes after the one with the lowest. No, they go somebody else. All right, so he's going to go to an empty location here. Seems fine. He gets a doom. All right, so we're in the Witching Hour. Can we stop the Witching Hour? All right, this guy needs to go. Patrice needs to leave so she doesn't take horror. But no, Patrice can stay because she can go resource, resource, Peter, and she'll be all right. <sighs> hmm. Okay. We're not going to be able to get both these clues, go here and kill this guy. So we are in the witching hour. All right, well, let's go with the resource, resource, Peter plan so she doesn't just fall over. Okay. Okay, so now Jenny could attack this thing. Because Patrice will be okay. All right, first action, we'll attack. If we do high roller, we're going to be at five, six versus three. Okay, success, and all the cultists walk away from us. Just shuffle it up a little bit. So we definitely can't fight this guy. All right, we take him down, but we both take a horror. Wow, horror's going everywhere. Okay, second action, let's grab the clues. Oh, we get our high roller resources back. All right, so now we're at three, four, five versus three. Another token, success. Okay, so we get both of these. Okay, we're in the witching hour, so I think we need to spend all these, spend all our clues to advance. All right, so we are spending one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So many clues. 11, 12, 13, 14. Seems like a lot. I hope it's enough. All right, here we go. The Ingenue. What investigating you have done has made it clear that the cult of the Green Man is planning to use Isabel as a vessel for the Green Man himself. They have been channeling his power through that horrible piping this whole time. That means Izzy must be close. How far are you willing to go to end this nightmare? Okay, so if we spent, if we cannot spend at least three investigator clues, we go back to 2A. All right. If we spend at least five per investigator clues, we did. It is not agenda four, so we spawn Isabel Barnes captive in the amphitheater. Okay. And if we had spent fewer than 10 clues, we would have gone, we would have advanced the agenda. Ugh. Okay, so um, it's not agenda four. We go into Isabel Barnes captive and put her in the amphitheater. Okay, so we have found Izzy. Okay, which one was that? Was this one? Okay. Okay, spawn her in the amphitheater. Okay, we've we've we found Izzy. An end to the ritual, Act Three. The story ends with the death of Mrs. Olmstead or the death of Izzy. Make a choice, or one will be made for you. The final note must not be played. Mrs. Olmstead gains... Okay, so I'm guessing she's going to come up later. Mrs. Olmstead gains parlay if you have bribed at least two heralds of the green man. Test uh, willpower at three if you succeed, at, advance to act 3B. Or, objective, defeat Mrs. Olmstead or set Izzy free, one way or another. Okay, so we've got Izzy. This is our objective here. All right, what do we got here? She gets four resources on her from the token pool. Okay, we found her. Now we just have to save her. Okay, double checking that there are four. Don't want to lose track. Okay, this is it. As a 
Non-action, if you have tasted the green man's fermented fruits, you can move a resource from this card. Oh, that's good. Group of them once per turn. And then as an action, you can test willpower at four. If you succeed, remove one resource from this card. If there are no resources on this card, flip this card. Okay, so Jenny has tasted the green man's the fruit, fermented fruits, so she'll, as a non-action, remove a resource from this card. She'll do that. Okay, she still has an action left. I'm thinking what we do here, we've got... That's going to come this way. We can't get all the way over there. We're basically holding out for a gate at this point. So let's hang on. If, could we test that? We wouldn't be very good at it. I wish we can give some resources to Patrice here. All right, so I'm thinking third action. Let's just draw a card. Oh, have we failed any checks here? If so, we would have lost some things. Oh, no, we didn't, because we discarded that a long time ago. Okay. So third action, we'll uh, draw a card. Guts. That will be handy. Right what we need to uh, help Izzy. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. This is it. Feeling nervous, though, because this agenda is out to advance, and who knows what the hell's coming at us. All right. Hunter's Hunt. Okay, he stays there. Okay, cards and resources. Elusive, always handy. Oh, new hand. Yeah, Patrice is really hurting this game. Another weakness. That one could take her out. Yeah. All right. Thanks to the Doom on the Cultist. We advance. What do we got? Oh, there's Mrs. Olmstead. Oh, I see what's going on. She spawns at the amphitheater. Oh, great. Okay. While discordant piping is in play, you may not parley with Mrs. Olmstead, and she cannot be damaged while engaged. While discordant piping is in play. Interesting. And then when she's defeated, we go to resolution five, and she's worth a victory point. Okay. All right. So we'll have. Uh, Patrice isn't in too good of a position. So we'll just have, we'll have her engage Jenny. Jenny can use um, a suggestion to evade her. Okay. New act. An audience of one. Mrs. Olmstead, consort and high priestess of the Green Man, stands before you. She is not happy about your intrusion. The gods play on. For Isabel only. The perfect vessel is waiting in the wings. Oof. Okay, so... We four doom and we go to agenda to agenda four and agenda four seems like it's a special one. Yikes! So let's get moving here. Oh, another goat spawn. Yuck! And half cocked. So she's going to have to discard both of these or lose three resources. We'll lose three resources. Interesting how in the Jenny scenario we have a treachery that taxes resources. Lots of them. Okay. So we got the thing is coming. As a non-action, we can remove... All right, as soon as the action window opens, we'll do this. Okay. All right, so we need to probably evade this thing and evade her and work on this. All right. Patrice is in a good situation to help here, but she's not doing so well. Evading this guy. She's at three versus two, so not very good. Also, monsters gain alert, so failing that is bad. So I think we're going to have Jenny go first. All right, so there's no discordant piping, so we can just attack her. But I think we're gonna, we need to evade her and focus on this. We don't want to be we don't want to have our attention just divided. Yeah. Okay, so if we can pull the baddies off of. Patrice, Patrice can probably do pretty well working on this. All right. So first action, we're going to use suggestion to try to evade Mrs. Olmstead. So right now we're at six, seven versus four. This is the one test I think we're going to make with Jenny. So we'll go to nine versus four.
9 minus 3 is 6, so we succeed by 2, so we don't lose a charge. Okay, so she is evaded. Okay. Second action, let's pull this off of uh, Patrice. Okay, and then third action, we'll evade that. Oh, we get our resources back from High Roller. So now we'll evade it 4 versus 2. Yeah, if she takes it, it's not too bad. Minus 3. Okay, so she fails. All right. Oh, and then she takes a damage because of an alert. I forgot about that. Maybe I should have done something different. Like maybe move down here or something. No, she's not going to leave, is he? All right, so Patrice. Patrice can work on this. So we're going to go first action, test willpower. We're going to be at 6 versus 4. We'll name minus 4 with recall the future. Skull. Skull's a minus 1, so we succeed. We remove a resource from Izzy. And all the cultists walk away. Okay, we'll just have them spread out a bit. Whoops. All right, that was first action. So it sounds like either of those, we can only do those once per turn. So we'll go get rid of the hypochondria because that could actually take her down. And then Peter heals. Peter's coming in to, to help out Patrice before she goes mad. Whew, kind of close here. All right, so that's all our actions. So this guy attacks. There's another damage to Jenny. Oh, and Hunter's Hunt. Okay, so this one we'll use the suggestion on to uh, block that attack. Okay, now we do cards and resources. Until report, not needed right now. And she gets a new hand. Okay, recall the future is good to see. Blinding light, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. And. Mrs. Olmstead readies, and we'll have it. We'll have Jenny tank this thing right here. Although blinding light can evade, maybe we'll have. Yeah, I think we'll have Patrice evade her this time. Yeah, that seems like a decent plan. Okay, because we're at six versus four. All right, we'll do that. Okay, new turn. One out of four doom and. Get some encounter cards. Oh, there's a discordant piping. That's going to prevent us from damaging um, Mrs. Olmstead. Okay. All right, so we're going to put this on. I guess we'll put it on the agenda. Yeah, we'll put this on the agenda. What do we got here? Curse luck, not what we needed. Okay, so let's start with Patrice. Let's try to evade Mrs. Olmstead. Or actually, as soon as the action window opens, let's just do this and see what happens. All right, here we go. We have removed the last resource from Izzy, so we'll flip it. Oh, hello. Fight back. You know that Izzy is in there somewhere. Use every ounce of willpower you have to bring her back. The green man's grip on your sister is tight but no one is going to take Izzy from you now that you have finally found her. Resolution 1. Oh, wow, we made it. Yikes, this is getting pretty dicey here. Yeah, um, I'm really curious to see how that turn could have gone. All right, so I was planning to go first action blinding light on Mrs. Olmstead. So let's, let's uh, roll this back. Let's see what would have happened if I hadn't thought of the action window there. All right, so Mrs., let's uh, use blinding light on Mrs. Olmstead. We're going to be at 6 versus 4, and we're going to name the minus 4. That seems to be working out for us. Okay, tablet. So we succeed, and she's going to, she can't take any damage, but she is evaded. All right, that's good. What would she do now? Second action, can't shrivel or anything. So we'd probably make this test. All right, 4, 5, 6 versus 4, and we'll recall the minus 4 again. Um, success. Okay, and then we'd hit resolution one, I think. Okay. Yeah, because we focus fired on, we focused um, our efforts on Izzy and not on Mrs. Olmstead. I think we were able to uh, go save Izzy here. Pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, that seems pretty good. All right. So that, that went 
pretty well. All right, we're at resolution one, that is. Yeah. Okay. What happens? I'm really curious. Izzy, Isabel, wake up. I'm here. I'm here. I need you, Izzy. Come back to me. Izzy's face grimaces with strain as she fights whatever hex has her insensate. At last, she opens her eyes with a shocked expression on her face. Jenny! Not now, Diz, Izzy. There's some trouble, and this canceled stamp is trying something funny. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love the humor. <laughs> you turn around. Twin 45s at the ready. But Mrs. Olmstead has vanished. With the ritual interrupted, the music has finally stopped, and the cathedral has grown silent. It's time to get out of here with your sister and find a place that's got some jazz to get this terrible tune out of your head. Oh, wow. Okay, so we made it. So we must remove Searching for Izzy. All right. Um, for the remainder of the campaign, we did it. We don't have to search for Izzy anymore. And then we add Izzy Barnes Double Trouble to his or her deck. All right. So let's see what that does. I'm really curious now. Izzy Barnes Double Trouble. Oh, it's an ally. Okay, so it's an ally. Okay, and when you pass the skill chest... Exhaust Izzy to resolve all effects if you had succeeded by two or more. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's like it plays into the whole succeed by two thing. That's kind of cute. All right, so um, we've made it. Nice little climactic finish there with like being surrounded by lots of bad guys. Um, it also says we're going to get some victory points. We've got one from the Relentless Dark Young, two, three from the Organ Room, four from Dismal Creek, and five from the Amphitheater. Was there any here? Nope. Okay, so we didn't miss out on any, you know, by going here. Okay, so that's again, that's one, two, three, four, five victory points. So that went pretty well, and we did it. We found Izzy. All right, so um, with that, we'll be uh, we'll be heading right back into some uh, some more of the main story of the Circle and Done next week. So until then, thank you so much for watching, and have a great night.